So hello guys welcome back to lead logics this is a design a food rating system problem this is a lead code medium and the number for this is 2353 so in the given problem we have to design a food rating system that can do the following modify the rating of a food item listed in the system and return the highest rated food item or a type of cuisine in the system and we have to for this we have to implement the food rating class the food rating class consists of a constructor which initializes the system food items are described by the food cuisines ratings and all of which have a length of n foods of i have the ith food cuisines of i have the type of cuisine of ith food and ratings of i have the initial rating of ith food so and we have uh, certain functions such as the void change rating and the void uh, string highest rating in the change rating we have to change the rating of the food item and in the highest rating we have to return the name of the food item that has the highest rating and if there is a tie then we have to return the item with the lexicographical smaller name so to implement the food rating class we can use a combination of uh, data structures such as hash maps priority queues and we need to efficiently handle changing ratings and finding the highest rated food for a given cuisine. So what will be the approach? So approach will be to create a class info that will represent a combination of food, its type of cuisines and rating. And then we will be using two maps, a food map and a cuisine map to store the cuisine specific and uh, priority queue of the info according to the ratings and the cuisines we can store it in the map and in the constructor we can populate the map based on the input arrays so <clears throat> let's begin but before that do like the video share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel so our first step was to create a class info to represent a combination of food cuisines and rating so we'll create public class info now what will it contain it will contain the food cuisine the rating And uh, this is the constructor for the info class. So this dot food equal to food. This dot cuisine equal to cuisine. This dot rating equal to rating. So our info class class is ready now we have to uh, make the maps so one map will contain the string with a priority queue of info this is because we want to store it in the uh, highest uh, rating order because we want the highest rating so we are using a priority queue to keep in the sorted order and uh, and it will be mapped to a string that is the food name so string it is just declared here it will be initialized later and it one will be one map we will be using that string and info that will be the food map Now we come to the food rating. This is the constructor. First of all, the cuisine map is initialized here with a new hash map. 
and then we'll initialize the food map as well <coughs> the food map is also initialized here Now we are going to iterate through the food length. The entire food length we are going to iterate. So I I less than food. Let's place. Info combo. Equal to new. Info. We need to populate the data here according to the data structure which we have created. That's why we are using this. So food of I is the name of the food. Then cuisine of I is the cuisine of the food. And ratings of I is the initial rating of the food. So all these three are put into our data structure info. And now it will be put in the food map. So food map dot put foods of I dot mean. So foods of of I itself string along with the combo. This is the combination of all the three. Then. We are going to check if cuisine cuisine map dot contains key cuisines of I Cuisine map dot get cuisine of I dot add combo. So this combo is also added to the same cuisine in the cuisine map if the cuisine exists. And if the cuisine doesn't exist, we are going to create a priority queue with a custom comparator. So we are going to create a priority queue. And we are going to use a custom comparator. So then the comparator will take info and uh, need to write override public and compare what it will compare info a with a info b Okay, it will compare the info A with the info B, and in that we can write a result equal to P dot rating minus A dot rating. Now, if the result equal equal to zero, then we have to give the lexicographically smaller string. So for that, we can simply So this will give the lexicographically smaller string if both are same. Otherwise, we return the result. Okay. 
now we have the priority queue has been created now we simply add the combo in the priority queue and then cuisine map dot put cuisine of i comma pq now we have to add the change rating functions when this this is pretty simple info previous equal to food map dot get food So we are making a new info for the current rating. The <clears throat> name is same as the previous name. The cuisine is same as the cuisine uh, previous cuisine. We only have to do is that we have to update the rating. So we have created a new uh, info model and just updated the ratings. Now we'll put this new info model into the food map. So food map dot put food comma the current just put the previous dot food equal to we will get it from the previous dot cuisine and add the current model now the only function remaining is the highest rated function so while cuisine map dot get cuisine so from that cuisine the food which we are searching if it is that food Highest rated function. Let's see if it runs for the sample test cases. And there's an error in the line 18. Let's see what's the error. Cuisine map. Cuisine map. Oh, it is initialized with cuisine.
I think it is fine now it should run now okay accepted for the sample test case now let's run for the hidden test cases as well so yeah the hidden test cases pass with a good time complexity and good memory complexity if I talk about the time complexity and the memory complexity the time complexity for uh, this food rating constructor this one um, is actually n log n where n is the number of food and we need to iterate through each food and insert into priority queue priority queue takes log n and this whole iteration takes n so for this it becomes n log n for chain rating and highest rating the time complexity is o of n and the space complexity for food rating is o of n and for the change rating and the highest rating it is o of 1 so the entire complexity both the time and the space are given by food ratings the time complexity is o of n log n and the space complexity is o of n you can also uh, see the c++ python and the javascript code in the solutions panel by going into the solutions panel and you can check my this solution it consists of the approach complexities code java c++ python javascript and yes do remember we to upvote so i hope you understood the logic how to solve uh, and design these type of problems in an interview so do like the video share it with your friends subscribe to the channel thank you for watching the video have a nice day